This is Agent Mills. It is Thursday, October 21st, approximately 4.58 p.m., located at 400 Walton Way, Richmond County Sheriff's Office. I'm here with Deputy Terry Parks. Um, okay. So before we get started, um, I'm going to read this to you. It's kind of the same thing we talked about before, okay? Um, but this investigation is to determine whether criminal laws have been any criminal laws have been violated during the use of force incident, which was the previous incident before you got involved. Um, but that's what the whole investigation is about. Um, it is not an administrative or disciplinary inquiry, and you're not being compelled to give any statement or answer any questions. And your cooperation in this investigation is voluntary. Um, so, like I told you, you don't have to talk to me. Nobody can make you talk to me. It's strictly your own free will. Okay. Um, so. You're a deputy with Richmond County, right? Yes, ma'am. Are you still in training? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So how long have you been employed by the sheriff's office? Uh, today makes it my first week. Your first week? Yes, ma'am. Well, I've been employed with Richmond County for a, a year and two or three months. Okay. But on the road okay. next week. So were you a mandate that other time? Or were you working in the jail? Uh, no, ma'am. I just got mandated on the 24th of September. Okay, so you're fresh out. <laughs> okay. Um, but you've been employed with them, but you've just been on the road for a week, yes, right? Yes, Okay. Um, and who is your FTO? Uh, Freeman. Freeman. Joshua, Joshua Freeman? Freeman. Yes, okay. ma'am. I know Freeman. I used to, when I worked at Augusta University, he was still in zone two. I'd see him quite frequently. <laughs> um, okay, so... Um, last Monday, would that have been your first day? Yes, ma'am, my first day. Wow, okay. Um, so last Monday, the 11th, um, you mentioned, um, you remember Mr. Jones going into the ER. Um, y'all didn't take him or transport or anything, it just happened to be y'all were there at the same time for something completely different. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so just kind of tell me about that night and what events you recall, um, regarding Mr. Jermaine Jones. Uh, when he first came in, we was actually leaving off of a patient that we brought down mm -hmm. and we walked with Deputy Gator inside the hospital with Jones and we got him stationary in the ER area where the nurses was tending to him and doctors was tending to him and everything. Me and my FTO Joshua Freeman left and we was gearing to head out to another call when myself and Joshua Freeman got a phone call stating that I needed to go to the hospital to sit on Mr. Jones for the rest of the night. When I arrived back, everything had done took place of what had happened with the medication process. Okay. It's just that uh, I came in on the tail end mm -hmm. of it. And we was trying to figure out what did the county want to do and Deputy Gator, he was making all the phone calls and finding out what he needed to do, mm -hmm. what protocols and steps that he needed to take. And for whatever reason, we was uh, abandoned from the the assignment, and okay. that was that's all I know. Okay, so you remember him coming to the ER, but um, you and Deputy Freeman were just there until things got situated. Do you remember anything happening then? Uh, just uh. I was watching the subject and he was just, he looked like he was just out of it, but okay. I, everything had took place by time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as far as the medication stuff, tell me about that. Uh, I, I've heard that the, one of the nurses gave Jones way more medicine than what he should have. Okay. I believe it was a syringe and she gave him the full syringe and she was supposed to get half of the syringe. Okay. And, uh. When I got back there, they was uh, they was already working on them and I guess trying to get the medicine out of the system or whatever. Okay. So did you hear that from some of the medical staff or did you just hear that like hearsay? I heard it hearsay. Okay. Who, do you remember who you heard it from? Uh, I, I, I know Gator was talking about it. Okay. And I, I didn't hear from any of the staff members or the nurse. Okay. So you just kind of heard some rumors? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but you didn't specifically overhear anybody I didn't, yeah, I didn't with medical staff. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you hear anything about what the medication might have been or anything like that? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, so how long do you think you were there before um, y'all got pulled off again, or you got pulled off again? Because it was just you that went back? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Trust me, that went back. Uh, I probably stood there for maybe about ten or fifteen minutes. Okay. Probably less than that. Okay. And do you remember where that was at in the hospital? Like, was he still in the ER or was he still up in another ER. room, still in the ER? Yes, ma'am. And when you were there, do you remember anything um, that took place or anything that stood out to you? Uh, just how quick, like, how quick of a change it was for him. Like, this man was fine until I leave and I come back. I want to say I was probably gone no less than 30 minutes and mm -hmm. I come back and it's everybody in the room working on him. Okay. Yeah. Um, so when you came back, was he in a room that you remember? Yes, ma'am. Okay. He was well, laying on the bed. Okay. Was it, do you remember where it was at? And I know you probably aren't super familiar with that ER. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not for sure what room, but I know it was, uh, I was placed on the corner. Me and Deputy Gator was on the corner and his room was straight ahead in front of us. Okay. Um, and you said people were working on him. Do you remember how he was acting or do you remember anything that he said he or something like that? He was out of it? He was out okay. of it. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you remember from... The interactions with him or anything else that you remember from that night regarding him okay no. i think that's it um do you have any questions for me or anything no no okay and if you remember anything else um i'll give you my card and you can um give me a call this is my work phone um but if anything else that you just didn't remember right now or maybe think of later um you can let me know okay oh. sorry that's okay Henry ending at approximately 5 or 4 p.m.